Get ready for Buzz TV Adventure. Exploring and discovering exciting destinations. We are on a great adventure today for Vero Buzz TV. I'm Jeff Vogel, and with me is Ro Vandright, and you're our official tour guide. I am today. your official tour guide today. Well, first, let's just before we get started, explain the name McKee Botanical Garden. That's where we are. That's where we are, McKee Botanical Garden, named after Arthur McKee, who was one of the two developers of the garden back in 1932, in addition to Mr. Waldo Sexton. Well, let's get started, shall we, on our tour? What are we going to look at first? We're going the entranceway. It's called the pergola, and we have some beautiful orchids on display in here, including the Mendanilla Magnificata right there. It's from the Philippines. It's a Philippine orchid. How many different varieties of plants are there here at McKee Garden? Over 10,000 varieties of plants. 10,000. 10, and do you, can you name all 10,000? Yes, sir, starting with, no. <laughs> I was going to say starting with the A, but no, I cannot name all of them. I know a lot of them, but not all of them. Now, this, this archway that we're walking through, what is that called again? Pergola, P-E-R-G-O-L-A. Is uh, pergola. everything here at McKee Botanical Garden a, a, a richly sounding name like that? Yes. Yeah, it's historical, and so we go back to old times, and so everything is old. Fantastic. Yes. All right, where are you going to take us first? We're going to take you first to the Hall of Giants, which was constructed in 1941. It houses the longest table in the world from a single piece of Philippine mahogany. And, and this is still used today for special events? Yes, sir. We have weddings and all types of meetings, uh, seminars in here, and the table is still used today. When we have the general public in, we usually ask them not to, please not to touch it because it is kind of fragile. And not to leave your initials. Not to leave your initials. We'll get to that in the bamboo pavilion. But anyhow, this whole area was called the Spanish Kitchen. Mr. Sexton liked to entertain. The grill will grill a hundred steaks, and that's what he wanted, was a hundred steaks. And the table inside seats 50 people and he would put the other tables around the outside for it. This is really the heart. This sort. is the heart of it, yes. This is the first part of it. It was used originally when the garden opened in 1932 and then closed in 1976 because of the advent of 95 being finished and US-1 was no longer the main route mm -hmm. north to south and uh, the theme parks in Orlando, etc took place and so nobody was interested in coming to see wild animals here. I have a friend that actually when she was growing up she lived on the perimeter mm -hmm. and one morning she woke up and there was an elephant in her backyard. Yes and some people saw that elephant swimming in the Indian River during mm -hmm. a storm and woke up from a tenting adventure out there to look at the elephant walking around their campsite. I mean, this, this really started as a, an all-around tourist attraction. Right. Mm -hmm. It was one of the three top attractions in the state, wow. starting in the 1930s, yes. Uh, I mean, Everybody with, came here. With a huge volume of traffic driving south to Miami. Yes, on this main route that yeah. went right by here, which is why the cypress stump is out there to stop the traffic. It had a big sign on it that said McKee Jungle Garden, and it also had a whale skeleton out there. And that stopped the traffic coming in. I, it would stop me? Yes. The, the stump is from the center part of Florida where Mr. Sexton saw it at a sawmill and they were cutting it mm -hmm. and he deci had decided that would be perfect to put outside his garden and stop people here. Uh, there were, used to be all kinds of birds and animals yes. of all sorts here. All right? sorts, yes. Monkeys, a bear, alligators, uh, key deer. From, and peacocks and I mean it was we have a video inside that's sure. eight minutes yeah today and now we focus on the, the botanical part of it the yeah. flowers and everything and this is native and exotic plants here in the garden the furniture man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach in Indian River County for over 30 years here at the furniture man we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home specializing in Floridian style come browse our selection of bedroom dining room patio and living room come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses recliners sofas dining and more visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach Monday through Saturday for all of your furniture needs Oh, those boys are much too much. 
those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Let's walk on in and look at this big table you're telling we'll me We'll look about. at this big table. This table, uh, number one, is a long, it's a single piece of wood. It's Philippine mahogany. Mm -hmm. It is over 110 years old, and Mr. Sexton saw it at a World's Fair in the 19, early 1900s, 1904, and he loved it. Yeah. And it has a history of going to a lot of different places, but he finally found the people that owned it, and when they said they had it in storage someplace in New York, he bought it immediately and brought it down here. And that was, and it came in here in 1941. The table is 35, over 35 feet long, five feet wide, and five inches thick. The base is not the original because the original has destroyed over time. And it is over 110 years old that we can document. Wow. Any special care? And t are you in charge of polishing this table? <laughs> Occasionally, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do it too often because uh, it takes a long time to do it. So when was this table last used? Um, last weekend for a wedding, and it will be used this weekend for a wedding. There's our bear, Mr. Dr. Doolittle. Oh. He was a performing bear. Uh, it's an old newsreel that was discovered when we reopened the garden in 2001. It was actually made in 1939 and when the garden opened in 2001 there was a notice in the trade papers and everything and the film company sent us. Now Ro, what would the alternative have been for this piece of property? It would have been a shopping center. It was originally 80 acres. Mm -hmm. 62 of it were developed and this 18 acre piece that we have right now was reserved for a shopping center because of the location on US 1 in the corner of Indian River Boulevard and that did not ever happen so the property came up for sale after it had been sold to a developer that put condos and part of a golf course on it and this property was purchased back from them by the Indian River Land Trust who worked with us to develop it till we got today, till we're a 501c3 and, now. And those folks really sh deserve oh, a lot of honors. Terrific. We have um, Susan Phillips and um, Susan Schuyler Smith, two ladies who fought like the devil with Tallahassee yeah. and everything to get this place restored and to get some money to restore it and they are the motivation behind it all. And then a lot of volunteers, once they decided to reopen it, came in here and cleared all the property. Yeah. Let's go out and look at okay. the property a little bit. There was a lot of work to do to clean this place up, wasn't there? Yes, it was. I mean, it was covered over. You couldn't see anything here. You the, could not uh, see. The bridge was all covered. All the trees were down. Some of the trails had been kept open, and uh, but there was a lot of debris trash. and trash and uh, vines covering all the trees and everything so it was totally shaded in here because I mean, people were using this as their makeshift landfill weren't they correct yeah. yes so it was a lot of cleaning to get it done and it took quite a few years until ni until 2001 this is a beautiful pond yeah. does it does this particular pond have a name let's go on over to this marker over here it's just called the lar it's just called the the big pond the big the pond big pond and uh it has it's full of water lilies right now and the last two years we have had the largest collection in the state of water lilies so we're hoping to be the same this year how can i help my daughter with her reading searching for help with dachshund reading how can i help my daughter with her reading information on hot water heating uh, no Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out the words. World music, playing track now. No. Let me try. Our daughter gets confused about which details in a story are important. Which paper towels are most absorbent? What? Here are five product reviews. Why are you not getting me? See, I told you. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? 
redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. ExploreUnderstood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Ro, when someone comes here to McKee Botanical Garden, mm -hmm. how much time should they allow for their, their visit? About an hour, at least an hour. If they're photographers, then they need to probably allow two or three hours. And you want to show us a couple more things, don't you? I want to show you some waterfalls, some beautiful waterfalls that we have here, and so we'll go over the bridge. And you told me we had to hustle. Yes, we'll have to hustle if you want to see some of my favorite things. So we're going to head now towards the jungle trail, the main jungle trail, which is to your right, and see a magnificent waterfall that was just restored. Now wait a moment. Let's let's. Can you identify this leaf? No, <laughs> I can't. Well, I don't. I'm not. There used to be. Um, well, I used to be a actually a junior forest ranger myself. So can you? No, but there used to be something called elephant leaf. But that's not this is it. Not elephant leaf. But it's close to this it. This is close. It looks like it. It's a cousin. It's a cousin, maybe. All right. All right. Far off removed. We off we go. We we have no time to linger right You're now. Not going to linger. We've just installed a lot of new beautiful signage that we got with the grant. We got some grant money for the signs, and so we and, have and these. You, all you have yard. actually different habitats here, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And and what we're what we're the, a hammock is different from something else. Well, the hammock is this whole area of Florida that okay. is a hammock. So this whole garden and all the spaces around it, you know, the building, not the buildings, but the right. facilities around it are all in a hammock. That's why we didn't have any hurricanes for so many years here, because they would blow right over us. You know, all right, off okay. we go. Okay, all right. Now you're taking us down, uh, which We're going trails down the main, well the trails are well marked, all of them have signs on them. They're also listed for you on the map. We're going to take a left-hand turn here and go see our newly renovated waterfall. Now, when, when you, um, we first got here, you handed me this, this booklet that yeah. has all kinds of great information. This is beautiful. I've been here before, and I don't remember seeing this. This was, uh, has, as I said, has just been fully restored due to, uh, you know, we had members contribute to the restoration of it because the one that was here from the original garden was, would no longer function. The pumps and everything were gone, so it was redone last year. This has got to be a favorite place for brides and grooms yes. to have their picture taken. Yes, this is a perfect place to have your picture taken because the water calms everybody down and we always have plants and everything blooming here. Now if you would like we can go two different directions. Shortest way will be down this duck pond right, trail. Well, let's go that way. Okay. All right. And where are you going to take us next? We're going to go down to the uh, meditation waterfall which is down the duck pond trail here. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with dachshund reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. Duck Pond Trail. Pond Trail, yes sir. And so named because there's a pond with ducks? No duck. Well, we have ducks occasionally, but most of the birds and uh, the ducks and things like that kind of avoid the area in the daytime when people are here sure. so uh, they just don't like the noise and if they're nesting or something like that they don't want to be this there. is a really nice restful path we're on right now it is tr the whole garden is serene 
I mean, I'm talking to you now, but I mean, if, if I be, was quiet, yeah. you would hear hardly anything except water. Well, you, do, you don't hear US-1, that's for sure. No, you do not hear US-1. And there's a nice bench here. Shall we just sit yes. for one moment? Now, included in the packet of information you gave me is this fantastic book, The Miracle of McKee. This is what will tell you everything from the beginning of yeah. the garden about the gentleman that designed it, the landscape artists that were here, and how they tried to make this a smaller version of the 80 acres that were there. And right. that what's to do with the waterways that we have here and everything else. Off, up and running? Up and off again. We okay. So just took that little rest there. Okay. Now we'll go down here to the meditation garden, or to where we have another waterfall, and then we'll head back and hopefully show you some beautiful lotus. I know I'll go there down here. All right, the lotus you can identify. Yes, the lotus I can identify. How many people were involved in the restoration of, of these gardens? Hundreds of volunteers, a lot of volunteer companies that had equipment, big equipment that was needed to move like some of the stones and everything that you see here and uh, this little tree is beautiful to sit on and have your picture taken with the other uh, waterfall in the back here so it's just a quiet place to come and sit you can read we also have pineapples fantastic they grow, they're growing throughout the garden and uh, the trails are made so that you feel a sense of closeness when you're walking so that you don't hear people when they try to do the understory here which is what they call the plants that are on the ground understory so that you can't see through it and see that there yeah. are people on the other side yeah there could be someone on the trail the next trail over and you wouldn't know you it. wouldn't know it nope you would not know it so right. this is this is a meditation and we go down right here and get to the bridge and we will see a beautiful display of lotus yes spectacular. Now we're, you're just showing us a piece. Uh oh, of this is just a very small piece of the garden. Look at those. Fantastic. Yeah. They are absolutely wonderful. And so uh, a and few. There's another group down there we'll go and see. Um, some, some small fish. Um, we have a lot of a lot of different fish and I have all the names of them. There are some tilapia Bob, in there. George. Bob, George, Henry, yes, yeah. all of that. But we do have a chart that uh, we can show to any of the guests that come in here that describe the flowers that are common for that month of the year. We also have, and they can use it out in the garden or ask us questions when they come back into the gift shop. And uh, we also have a new chart developed by one of our volunteers that has all the fish names on it that we see in the pond. The here. people who work here, the people that contribute to this, really must take pride in, in what you've got. Uh, we have a phenomenal staff that works together as a team. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, that is the truth. We are, our staff is great. We all help each other when we can. And uh, no one ever says no. And the volunteers, I have uh, pretty close to 150 volunteers that come in. Are you in charge? Yes. That's my basic job. Fantastic. <laughs> How long have you been a volunteer yourself here? I, vol I started volunteering in 2009. And then in 2012, I was made the volunteer. So I'm on staff now. So from 2009 till 2012, I worked as a garden guide because I was working somewhere else full time. And I worked as a garden guide, taking people like I'm doing you right now out into the garden. And now I train the guides to, to bring the people out into the garden and get the people in to do the events and everything. And we'll use anywhere from 25 to 60 people to man an event, to work the front areas, to let people in and make sure they know where they're going and everything, to float in the garden and help them give them directions and things like that. Where shall we conclude our tour? We are going to conclude our tour probably at the Bamboo Pavilion. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. That a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go 
go back to the Dome Star. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. We are going to conclude our tour probably at the Bamboo Pavilion, which is just up the road here. And so called because it's made out of bamboo. And the, I'll show you the bamboo area also. And, and uh, bamboo grows really well in Florida, doesn't yes, it? It does. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it again, we're just going to stop one second. We'll yeah. let, we'll let um, Husto catch up with the camera. We've got, okay. again, a map, and you are here. That's where, where we are, are. yes. Mm -hmm. but, um, you can see all the trails, and we only went. We do point out where we actually went today so okay. far. Okay, so far we went from the pergola to the Hall of Giants and out and over the bridge over the big pond here. And we came down the Duck Pond Trail, here, and here. But we didn't get to. Are you taking us to the bamboo? We're going trail to over the. Here? We're going to the bamboo trail right now. It's right behind you. And, and, and okay. anyone, anyone who's watching right now, you've got to come here yourself if you want to go to the Banyan Trail, Correct. which is toward the um, mm -hmm. right there on the outer bank. Right. That's the Outer Banks, and the Banyan Trail is behind the big Banyan tree, which we can't see from right here. All right, will you take us, go, let's go to the uh, Bamboo Trail. Bamboo, so we okay, we'll go up to the Bamboo Pavilion. This building was constructed when the uh, garden reopened in 2001. It was constructed from bamboo that was grown and treated in Colombia, South America. I like this railing over to our left. Yeah. This is all bamboo, and this is part of what our horticulture staff does. They like to put natural things in here. So we have a wonderful horticulture director. How many bridges are there? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> not 10,000. Not 10,000, no. No. I can count them on the, on the map later. I can see a stand of bamboo right to our right here. Uh -huh. And the bamboo pavilion is to our left. Okay. okay. No, but let's, let's get, oh, who says getting a good shot of that bamboo? That's... Um, some nice looking bamboo mm -hmm. there. Yep, that's the, I call it the blue mist bamboo. It's beautiful. It has like a velvety touch to the bamboo. Some of it is real shiny and slick like lacquered, but that you can feel almost like a suede feel to the bamboo. And what do you call to our right here the, that plant that's growing in the, the uh, that's between a, those? That's one of the bromeliads that we have here. That, that's the yeah. bromeliad. These are all bromeliads here, different types of bromeliads. Uh, the bush right here is uh, tiger grass. Okay, and we're, we're and we're going up to the bamboo pavilion right now. And how old is this bamboo pavilion? This has been here since 2002. 2002. That means yeah. well, th that means it was part of new construction actually. Right. Okay. And you have some. Yes, it was part of the new opening the garden. You have black bamboo right here, which I have never seen before. We have some. We have a stand here, and then we have some out in uh, the front parking lot. And then we'll go around. We have quite a few varieties of bamboo in here. What? This is getting closer to an elephant an ear, elephant right? Ear. There's your elephant ear. Yay! We're right. right. Okay. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. So you see, son, good manners are important. Should I go through it again? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Exactly. Always say please, thank you, you're welcome, excuse me, sit up straight, hold doors open for ladies, the doors locked, knock first, don't burp, don't swear, don't stare, don't use bad language, or talk with your mouth full, keep your elbows off the table. What table? And don't interrupt, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, on the bus, keep your seat up to anybody who has trouble standing, bottom line, treat others the way you want to be treated, got it? Got it. Good talk. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. 
But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. This is the main source of water back here for the entire garden. And there is the, the water in the garden is all man-made. All the, all the little ponds and streams and everything that you see is all man-made. What are those big, ah, big, big I was waiting for looking. you to ask. What are those? Those are, they're called Victorias. They, can, they are from the Amazon. They can grow to 10 feet at the Amazon, not here. But they can grow to 10 feet. This is our, as I say, our main source of water and we keep a lot of them out here because they look real pretty. They're a lot up in the front. Do you have any frogs here? Yes. Yeah, we have a big croaker right now that lives right under the bridge we, we walked under before. If I was a frog, I would want to jump in one of those, one of those, whatever you called them. Victorias yeah. is what they're called. Yeah. And they will hold a child. Wow. We, in, yeah. in the book that I gave you, The Miracle uh -huh. of McKee, yeah. there is a photograph in there of a child sitting on one of these leaves. That's totally neat. Yes. All right, um, let's, let's go on over to the pavilion Okay, here. the pavilion, as I say, was uh, the plans and everything were shipped down to South America where the bamboo was harvested and then it was uh, cured so that it would last a long time. This is what it looks like when it's cured. What you see right through there is what it looked like when it was growing naturally. Oh, on the other side. So you can compare the two. Yeah. Yeah. The roof is over 9,000 9, palm what? fronds. It has a couple on the top because the Indians, that this is their design, when they had fires in here and smoke, and they did it, the smoke exited through there and it has a fancy top on it so that the rain will not come in when it rains. This is a really impressive structure mm -hmm. and somebody knew how to do this. Yes, they did. It was engineered here and as I say, it was built in South America. They harvested it, cured it, and built it according to the plans in South America because the bases are a certain technique to mm -hmm. make sure that it stays for where you put it for and a the, long time. And the benches in here are also bamboo. <laughs> Yes, they are. And this, we have weddings here too. Small weddings, up to 40 people. can. This can handle 40 people it's for weddings. Not, it, would you just step this way yeah. one second so we don't have too much sunlight behind okay. us? We, we have been at McKee Botanical Garden having a great adventure for VeroBuzzTV.com. And with me, our tour guide and the, the boss of all the tour guides, <laughs> Ro Vandright, has been giving us a tour. Ro, would you look straight in that camera there and tell people watching why they need to come here to McKee Botanical Garden? Well, you need to come to McKee Botanical Garden for a lot of different reasons, and the most important one is that it's a magical place that can be anything you want it to be for you. It's peaceful, it's quiet, and when we have an event, it's hustle and bustle, and we ha go all ages, from little children with the fairy festival to men who love cars that can come and see their famous cars in uh, February and all the other events that we have here. So it goes from this high to this high and everything in between. Yeah. It's just a phenomenal place. Have you ever met anyone that wasn't thrilled when they came here? No. No, not one person. And that's in six years. So, it's Ro, a happy place. Yeah. Ro, thank you so much for taking us on the tour today and be sure that you come out to McKee Botanical Garden. For Vero Buzz TV, I'm Jeff Vogel. Thanks for watching.